he doesn't have power over um, his creation? Then? No, he does, but it would be a contradiction to say that God forces free people to do what they want to do. That would be a contradiction, right? I'm a Christian, obviously, and or not obviously, but um, so I've been kind of struggling with just a little kind of dilemma that I keep running in my head. Uh-huh. Um, so if God, I, I think you kind of answered like a little bit, and I don't know if you're allowed to, because this has a little bit to do with predestination. Uh-huh. But if we are, if God is just, yes, an all just God, and w- he knows that there are people out there that are not saved, and he does doesn't do anything about it, and they go to hell. Um, what does that ultimately say about God's nature? God of- knows all counterfactuals. He knows how people are going to react in any situation. And right. he wants people to be saved more than we do. Yeah. So if people ultimately do not accept Christ, it's not God's fault. They don't want to accept Christ. And even if he had gotten them the gospel, they wouldn't have accepted it. God freely or God allows people to have free will to make moral choices. So, so would you say he doesn't have power over um, his creation? Then? No, he does. But it would be a contradiction to say that God forces free people to do what they want to do. That would be a contradiction, right? Yeah. God can do anything that's logically possible, but God can't do logically impossible things. He can't force free creatures to do what he wants because then they wouldn't be free. He can't create a square circle. He can't create a one-ended stick. He can't create an honest politician. I mean, there, there are some things that God can't do because they're contradictory. Well, then wouldn't that mean he's not all powerful? No, power means he has every, he can do everything that's logically possible. Not everything that we could imagine. Like I said, he can't create a square circle. That thing doesn't exist. It's it's an absurdity. All right. Wouldn't a virgin birth also be illogical? No, it's nothing illogical. We could have all been born through a virgin birth. Or healing people with touches or like miracles. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I hear a lot of chatter. Um, I'm having trouble hearing him. Or Um, turning water into wine. That's pretty illogical too. It has nothing to do with logic. How is it illogical to turn water into wine? It's... It's never happened before. Oh, it happens all or, the time. I mean, it happened in the Bible, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Water goes into the ground, goes up in the grapevine, turns, it, it helps a grape grow, and that ultimately turns into wine. All Jesus did was speed it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, if the, if the God who created the universe wants to intervene in the universe and overpower a natural law, can he do that? I'm sorry. Of course he can, right? Just like, you know, we can overpower natural laws. Look, I'm overpowering a natural law right now. Gravity, right? Yeah. I'm an, I'm an agent that can intervene and overpower natural laws. Now, true, if, if, if I decide not to intervene anymore, natural laws take over. But if I can intervene and overpower natural law, can the being who created and sustains natural laws do so? Yeah, of course. That's all we're saying. And he does that in order to, to show people, you need to, you need to listen to this guy. Like, that's why Moses can do miracles and Jesus can do miracles. Because God has new revelation that he's pouring out through those people. So the rest of the people go, oh, Moses can do miracles? Moses speaks for God. Jesus can do miracles? Jesus speaks for God. That's why God does miracles through those people. Okay. Um, well, that, puts, that still puts him in this box that he created for himself, I feel like. God is not in a box he created for himself. God's nature is such that he can do things that don't contradict his nature. Like God can't go out of existence. God can't sin. We can sin. We can do things God can't do. We can sin. He can't. If he could sin, he wouldn't be the standard of righteousness. Right, because he's all just. Yeah, so power doesn't imply he can do anything, even logically impossible things or things against his nature. He can do whatever is logically possible, but even... An all-powerful God can't force free creatures to do what he wants them to do because then, by definition, they wouldn't be free. Okay, so you would say that um, there's, it's a little bit more free will than like he kind of planned all of this. So, no, both. It's both. Oh, it's both. Yeah. Okay. 
he knew what we would do. And when he elected this universe, he knew the outcome. But the outcome isn't dependent completely on his choice. It's also dependent on our choice, okay. what we freely chose. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you.